The thing about coronavirus is that it doesn't need a passport to get from country to country. It really has no regard for borders. It's here in our region, back there in El Paso, and in Juarez. But the outcome for patients here can be drastically different. A sign of the times. Once the pandemic hit, Aurelio Garcia tells me he had to stop selling churros and adapt. He makes a living selling face masks here at the Paso del Norte Bridge. The most popular, he tells me, the cowboy's mask. At 50 pesos, or a little more than $2. They're cheaper than in El Paso, he says. Aurelio has been a street vendor for decades. It's a job that can sometimes be grueling, but these past months have been the hardest. He says it's scary to constantly be in contact with people, but this is what he must do to make ends meet. There are so many people like Aurelio and Juarez, those who don't have the luxury of working from home. People I spoke with worry they could end up in a hospital, like this one. The fear for Germán Moreno, a security guard, is that he could bring the virus back home and infect his family. When you look at Juarez's coronavirus data, some of the numbers are astonishing. Close to 12% of those who have tested positive have died. In El Paso, it's close to 2%. I spoke to Dr. Hernández, who asked that I not release his full name and hide his identity for fear of losing his job. He's a doctor treating COVID patients at one of the many public hospitals in Juarez. He explains to me that he thinks that for every person who tests positive in Juarez, there are likely 10 to 30 more people who are infected. Testing delays have plagued the city, and that's led to those with only severe symptoms getting screened. I ask him about the most frustrating part in the battle against the pandemic. Knowing that some patients won't get better, no matter how you treat them, he says. Plus, he says the hospital he works at faces a severe shortage of equipment and medicine. As a father of two, his biggest fear is losing his family. It's something he sees all too often at the hospital. People die, he says with families unable to say goodbye. It's a pain that shattered Gabriel Cardona and his family. His wife, Patti, died of COVID-19 after a 15-day battle in the hospital. Gabriel is a news photographer. He believes he contracted COVID-19 in April and then spread it to his wife. He had a fever and body aches for a few days, but he was able to recover. Patti's symptoms worsened and she was hospitalized. First, they gave her oxygen and medication, Gabriel says, but things escalated, and then she was put on a ventilator. Even then, Gabriel held out hope that she would recover, but on May 15th, he received a call from the doctors. His wife, Patti, was gone. Fue algo muy fuerte para mí en lo particular como Gabriel describes it as an overwhelming feeling, and to this day, loved ones are still in shock. They were married for 28 years, had three kids, three grandchildren. He still had more memories to make. Patti's smile is what he misses most and getting to look deep into her bright eyes. He says he gets angry when he sees people not taking care of themselves. Gabriel currently lives with his youngest son at home. For the sake of his son, he says he needs to be strong, no matter how hard life gets. The virus doesn't have borders, he says. But life goes on, and we need to keep on living with caution. Mauricio Casillas, ABC7.